All right, my dudes, this video is going to be about whether or not um, Commonwealth contract is a, is worth it. Uh, I have had Commonwealth contract. I think I did it two months for two months. And uh, my thing is when you first get out, when you first um, start the game, definitely. But see the 19.99. I really think this is a $10 thing, especially since you already have the survival pass for $10. Um, I really do think the value of this contract is actually around $10. Um, as you climb up and level, these rewards become less uh, valuable. You see these uh, these time boosts. You get so many of these. You know what I mean? Just by playing the game, two million veggies and one point thirty. That's not much when you're high level. And I guess you get that every day. That's thirty mil. But really, you can go and raid every day and get and get like you get like. 10 15 mil of whatever these resources you want uh just by rating but the commonwealth is good for new players who uh you know what i mean you don't have a very you're not strong enough to raid yet and i think as servers get older it's going like new players coming in if everybody has four teams that are maxed out and everything and you're a brand new player you're not going to be able to uh you're probably not going to be able to uh effectively rate this amount of resources so you're really going to need this if you're a new player but right now i see all of these resources i just have those on standby you know what i mean 7.4 i got like 7.4 mil now I uh, did a bunch of building, uh, raiding and building, so I had a lot more than that. But now I have le uh, less. Um, and you really do want to uh, make sure you get good at PvP at some point. Um, but this this twenty dollars um, after a while. It's going to be better spent on other things in the game, in my opinion. So that's the that's the big thing. The answer, the long answer short, Commonwealth is good if you are a new player. And it, of course, the building bonus, it's like, OK, you could build things slightly faster, but when you get later on in the game everything is going to take a couple days anyway so it's going to take a little while to build things anyway so that little bonus is not going to be uh worth too much so you get a little bit of uh get some power and you get uh better production on resources and a higher uh, construction speed, about 18%. Now, that's a little bit high, but at the same time, I mean, 18% on a on a construction that takes, I think this base was uh, eight days. You're still going to be constructing for a while. <laughs> you understand? So, it, you know. And if you're really worried about that, just join a big clan, big active clan, and get a bunch of help times. You understand? So, again, the way this, uh, the paying model on this server, I can foresee a point in time after spending so much money in this game that you really don't have to spend anymore. Once you have a good, powerful team, anything you want, you can get just by playing the game. Uh, you can get Commonwealth. The bonus is a little bit. It's a little bit. Uh, it's still these bonuses for the Four Minutes trailer and the Horizon Wind Windmill 
would still help out a bit, but it's still not worth to me the $20. I have teams that I'm still building on. I need gems. You know, I just feel like that $20 could go towards something better. I kind of feel the same way about um, uh, this this new will of prosperity. Um, I mean, now that I think about it, I mean, the fragments are OK, I guess, but it's just not enough. It's not enough for me to invest into it. Uh, not like uh, w I mean, will of hope is a better deal to me and uh, will of hope. Just getting long range transmissions when you're a new player in the game. I will focus mostly on that. Getting a strong, getting strong teams of survivors. Maybe get your vehicle up. Uh, just, you know, getting your actual survivors that you will be playing the game with. Um, get them as high level as you can focus on on one formation at a time and just do that i think that should be your priority um and anything else um as far as what you spend your money on anything else like resources something that you could get by just playing the game there's a bunch of uh products you know items in here you can buy uh a bunch of uh resource packs and all of that stuff i i mean that could be useful to somebody who is trying to rush the game but i'm not rushing the game i'm in this for the long haul but if you're trying to rush then buy those resource packs but i don't spend i try not to spend money on anything that i can get in the game just by playing which is most most things except for the the uh the uh survivors which you're gonna have to spend money to I, I got almost all of the survivors i just got me suit let's kick some ass uh yesterday so so okay so i've so he's got veggie production i've been leveling up maggie so once i max out maggie uh, I doubt I'm doing my soup next. I'm probably going to do after I do Maggie. This is I don't amazing. know who I'm doing, but uh, that's essentially what Commonwealth is. Commonwealth worth it? I say instead of relying on that cash. You know what I mean? If you're a if you're a casual, you don't like PVP, you know what I mean? Then then you know, just buy that stuff. But if you want to play the whole game, the PVP, the for, the forming aspect, just all of the features of the game, then that money would be better spent you know, it really would be better spent on Hero Awakening. This is the second deal of the day. The first deal you get $9.99. The second deal is $19.99. If you took that same $20 and spent it on these 40 transmissions, you get 40 long range, 40 short range, and you get 400k. Uh, you get a few, uh, a few resources and 2k elite points. Uh... I think that would be more valuable to you than, you know, 30 million resources spread over 30 days. <laughs> but if you're again, if you're a little small, uh, if you're a small, um, if you're a young player, uh, uh, a new player, then those resources may be valuable for you. But I'm just telling you, the most valuable use of your money is leveling up these heroes. Once you max them out, you know what I mean? You can get all the resources you want. You're going to have plenty of bread and all of that stuff if you have to farm more. 
And yeah, that's it. That's basically it. Uh, if you're new, it's worth it. I would say for the first few months, for the first month or two, get it. But then after that, you should have uh, enough uh, power. You should be strong enough to get everything that the Commonwealth offers on your own. You, you should be strong enough to be your own Commonwealth. And that concludes the video. Hope that was helpful. See you on. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you on the next video.